Earn 200,000 in 14 days. It's like a pie in the sky. If you spend 14 days in a specific prison, you can get 200,000 yuan pay. The only condition is that before you come in, you have to be a good person. The purpose of the experiment is to analyze the effect of the environment on people. The rules of the experiment are ah, except for the fact that you can't use violence. Everything else has no rules. All depends on the freedom of play. If you can't stand it, you can call off the experiment in the middle. But then you do not get a penny. Cab driver David successfully passed the qualification. Not only that, he also thought of another business opportunity to make money. A $100,000 deal with the newspaper. He used special glasses. He filmed the experiments in the prison and broadcast it to the newspaper. An experiment. Both sides get paid. It's a sure thing. The experiment begins. David and 19 other challengers were randomly divided into two groups. One group played the role of prison guards. One group played the role of prisoners. 24-hour surveillance of the prison before entering the prison. The professor gave a brief training to the group. With Einige von Ihnen werden zwei Wochen auf wesentliche Grundrechte verzichten. Unterschätzen Sie das nicht. But everyone was here for the money and didn't take the professor's advice to heart. As it turns out, money is really proportional to the effort. Pies may fall from the sky, but ordinary people can't catch it. When everyone changed their clothes, the experiment begins. David played the role of a prisoner. The prisoner has no name, only a code. His code is 77. The prison hardware is well set up, clean, neat and hygienic. For everyone in this kind of place, it is also very happy to live for two weeks. I'm afraid the professor doesn't have enough money. David even waved happily with his cellmates at the surveillance. Although we all thought it was just a game. But soon David will not be able to laugh. This is a real-life cosplay. A group of people playing police officers. A group of people playing prisoners. Just stick around for 14 days. They will get paid the equivalent of 200,000 renminbi. But this group of people did not even last a week. At first, they felt very relaxed. They all looked like they were on vacation. But someone always gets serious first. Prisoner David. Number 77 wearing glasses, he was always stirring up trouble, because after all, he had promised the newspaper to film the experiment through his glasses to get a better shot. He always had to cause some accidents in order to feel comfortable with the high pay. The first night, David was called out by the guards for no reason to do push-ups, although he was resistant. But in order to be able to, to shoot more different material, he did as he was told. But it was different in the eyes of the man pretending to be a prison guard. David's outward obedience gave them a sense of the power that the rules gave them. They had an instant sense of superiority. It was as if they were the real warning at the moment. This gave the warning a free reign. The next day, the guards made noise with batons and barred doors. Prisoner 82, who was allergic to milk, was forced to drink milk. Otherwise, they would do push-ups. David saw that this was a good idea. So he encouraged everyone to do push-ups for 82. This collective protest put him in the spotlight. It also completely separated the two teams. The early warning officer noticed the leader. No. 77 David decided to punish him. Jack, the boss of the guards, was a man who loved to look good. He wears his hair perfectly. He led the guards to check the room. The guard deliberately messes up David's blanket. Looking at the warder who was causing trouble, David put on his glasses and threw the blanket out. He also pushed Jack, the warning boss. He took the opportunity to put the two guards in the cage. The scene was in chaos. The guards felt humiliated. They asked the professor for help. But the professor wasn't going to do anything about it. Once the experiment started, everything would no longer be under control. It was all a matter of destiny. Ich habe in einem Buch gelesen, dass man man gewinnt in solchen Situationen die Kontrolle wieder, wenn man über Erniedrigung. He decided to take his revenge. The prisoners were partying at night. The guards pulled down the electric switch. The prison loses its light instantly. The guards rushed in with fire extinguishers in hand. They sprayed the prisoners wildly. They also asked them to strip naked and squat in the corner. And David was also given special treatment, naked and handcuffed in the corner. Such a scene. Only 36 hours had passed since the start of the experiment, and the warning was not punished by the professor. Instead, it was as if he had been given tacit approval. Meine Herren, Sie haben Ruhe und Ordnung wiederhergestellt. Damit haben Sie Ihre Aufgabe gut gelöst. Machen Sie weiter so. Early warning became more reckless. These fire extinguishers seemed to be used to put out fires, but they were the spark that ignited the fire. On the morning of the third day, prisoner 82 had to drink the milk that made him allergic. David provoked Jack by saying he had fox odor. 
Sie Menschen, sie nennen es Seife und wenn du dich damit waschen würdest, dann würdest du wahrscheinlich auch nicht mehr so stinken. This made Jack feel insulted. He pulled out his baton, intended to teach David a good lesson, but the experiment was monitored 24 hours a day. If you use violence, you're out. You don't get a penny. David saw this as an advantage. He continued to provoke Jack. Jack could not do anything at the moment. Back to the bath he was angry. So he joined the other guards and kidnapped David. Carried to an unsupervised area. Tied him to a bench with tape over his mouth. First, he shaved his hair. Then he was pushed to the ground. The experiment had become uncontrollable, but the professor did not intend to terminate the experiment, because in his opinion authority obeys. Subconscious violence oriented loss of intuition. These data are all normal responses. He needed more data that were different. The warning violence went unpunished. Violence also gives them unprecedented pleasure. This makes the warning even more aggressive. He was a test subject. If he spends 14 days in prison as a prisoner, he would get a bonus of about 200,000. He thought it would be an easy money job. Instead, he almost lost his life. Early warnings became increasingly violent. The oppression broke the prisoner. The agreement was that they were free to terminate the experiment. But when 69 asked to quit, but the professor refused. When he returned, 69 was stripped naked. A sissy note was put on his back. He was punished by standing in front of the public. Then he had a psychological shadow. He even leaked urine in his sleep. A number 53 who silently chewed the back of his hand finally broke through the psychological limit with the warning that came but was beaten down by the guards with a stick. The two were carried out. David as the main target of punishment. He was made to strip naked, wipe the toilet with his clothes where he couldn't wipe it off. He had to pick at it with his hands. What came off looked like dirt, more like dignity. Afterwards, he had to put the toilet clothes back on again. This is not clothes, but humiliation. But David had to obey. Life in prison was breaking David down. A fat prison guard couldn't stand it anymore. David brought new clothes. This kind gesture. David was like a lifeline. He tried to rope in the fat guard. But Jack found out. Jack, who was too involved in the drama beat and kidnapped the fat guard. He was sent to prison to become a prisoner and also beat up David, locked in a metal box in the prison. This completely irrational behavior. The 82nd cursed. Jack was furious. He hit 82 on the head with a police locker. 82 was not breathing. The situation was irreversible. Once the desire for power was aroused, like a raging flood, it was unstoppable. On the night of the fifth day, Jack took advantage of the professor's absence. He and the other guards, the two lab workers in the lab, and kidnapped them into the prison. He completely turned himself into a prison guard. Everyone became his prisoner. And at that moment, trapped in the metal box, David found a breakthrough. When he came out, he found that the experimental prison had turned into a real hell, taking out one of the guards and escaping with everyone. But Jack finds out. Both sides began a tug of war for their lives. The professor who senses the seriousness of the situation, comes from outside, but the guards shot him dead. The guards chased the fat man. The fat man shot the guard first to stay alive. He grabbed a fire extinguisher and knocked the guard to the ground. David is surrounded by Jack. Jack stabbed David with a sharp knife in his hand, but David held the knife. The blood flowed down. The taste of blood stimulated Jack. It brought back his lost sanity. Du hast damit angefangen. The experiment ended in tragedy with two dead and three injured. All participants in the experiments were severely traumatized. This movie is based on a true story. The Stanford Prison Experiment. In the real case, the subjects were college students. The professor did not play the supervisory role of the experiment's sponsor. Control role. Instead, he played the role of the warden himself, personally to fight violence with violence. The experiment was originally planned for 14 days. It was forced to be terminated after only six days. All the students who participated were all affected by the roles they played. Those who played the role of police became violent and manic. Those who played the role of prisoners became timid and cowardly. This experiment changed the fate of the participants. It also proved for us the fickleness of the human heart. There is a fruit buried in everyone's heart. Good causes for good and bad consequences for evil, whether it is good or evil. It all depends on your mind. Goodbye.